Hello friends, welcome to CodeH. In this video, we will learn how to set up an automated CI-CD pipeline using Jenkins. Let's first understand the CI-CD setup that we will be building in this demonstration. First, we will create a multi-module project. We will develop a Spring Boot application using the Gradle build system. Next, we will add modules like app, domain, port, rest, and the smoke test to the project. Don't worry if you are not familiar with these modules, I will explain each of them in details shortly. Once our project is ready, we will add a docker file to containerize the application and helm chart for managing the Kubernetes manifest configurations. After that, we will push our project in the GitHub repository. Then we will set up a Jenkins pipeline. The first stage in the pipeline will be checkout, which will pull the code from the GitHub. Next stage will be the build stage, where we will compile the code and create a jar file for the application. After that, unit test stage will run unit test on the application. Next stage will be the smoke test. This stage will run the functional test or what you may also refer to as end-to-end -end test. Next stage will be the code analysis stage, where we will use SonarCube for the code quality analysis. Following this, the build and push image stage We'll create a Docker image of our application and we'll push it into the Docker Hub. Next stage will be the deploy on a dev, where we will deploy our application to the Docker environment for the development purpose. During deployment, Docker will pull the image from the Docker Hub that we will push in the previous stage. The health stage verify the health of our application once it is deployed in the development environment. Finally, the last stage will be the update image tag where we will update the docker image tag in the values.yaml file. Values.yaml file is used for the Helm chat, which serves as a default configuration for the chat template. I will explain the values.yaml file when we will develop our application. Then we will configure the Argo CD in the Kubernetes. For this demonstration, we will be using Minikube as our local Kubernetes environment. Once values.yaml file is updated with the new image tag, Argo CD will automatically fetch the changes from the GitHub. In other words, Argo CD will read the image tag from the values.yaml file and it will redeploy the application. To do this, it will recreate the pods by fetching the updated Docker image from the Docker Hub. Once it deployed, our application will be ready for the use. In our CI CD setup, you can call Jenkins pipeline as a continuous integration and Argo CD setup as a continuous deployment. Typically, deploy to dev should be part of continuous deployment. But as we are using Docker, that's why I kept it into the Jenkins side only. But if you are using Kubernetes for the deploy to dev stage as well, then you can handle the entire deployment process using Argo CD. As you can see, our setup involves multiple integration with various components. To simplify things, I have divided this video into the several steps. First step will be the develop multimodule project. Next stage will be set up Jenkins and SonarCube server. Third step will be the create Jenkins pipeline and last stage will be the Argo CD setup. That's it for this lecture. In the next video, we will see how to develop multi-module project. Thanks for watching the video.